Hi, my name is Meredith, and I'm a student studying psychology from Canada. Uh, my question is very simple. Uh, how can you say that men and women, that there's no sexism when the very setup of this conference is sexist? For example, the men are seated Can you repeat the question the a bit slowly, sister? Yes. Why is it that the men are seated in front of the women? Um, the very structure of this conference is sexist. Why is that? Mashallah, this was a very good question. That why aren't the women seated in front? No, why are we not? If you're going to separate us, how come we're not left to the right? Correct. Thanks. Why is one in front Sister of the other? Good question. That why are the women, if you believe in equal, why not left and right? Why not? It's a very good question, sister. Because the Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 30, say to the believing man that he should lower his gaze and guard his modesty. Whenever a man looks at a woman, any breath and thought comes in his mind, he should lower his gaze. Now, if the women are sitting on my right, I will only have to speak looking on the left. You know, because I cannot look at them. Yeah, I can look at everyone. This time I cannot see your face also from here. You may look at my direction. If you want to see me close, you can see on the screen there, no problem. But for me, the Quran says, the moment I look at a woman, I should lower my gaze. Unless she's my wife, or she's my mother, or she's my daughter. And if someone says that someone looks at a woman and nothing happens to him, then it requires a psychiatrist. <laughs> so if you were here, I would talk to you like that. So you'll tell me, what an ill-mannered man is this? You know, showing me his back. Now my gaze is there. Knowing the microphone, I cannot see you. I can just see you, okay, just a little bit here and there. So I'm maintaining my hijab. Now when we have lady speakers speaking, only ladies, front row, no problem. So what happens? Because it's a gent speaking, there are occasions, some occasions, then we have to keep a partition, and we can do that. And we have done that. But there's such a vast gathering, so many cameras, it will obstruct. So that's the reason, but in no way are we trying to say that the women are inferior. That's the reason we have got a screen close to you. Mashallah, especially for sisters who are sitting a bit more behind. So you can get the view. But in front, it will be difficult for me to speak, for me to maintain my hijab, for me to look. Because in public speaking, you know, we are taught we have to look at the audience. If the audience is a woman in front of me, you know, I remember once I had gone to the Gulf country. And I was called for a talk. And it was a ladies' organization. I always say that at least the front row should be gent, you know. But they didn't do it. So half the talk I gave looking at the ground and balance half looking at the ceiling. Down ceiling. Believe me, I was in hell. Not because I was in company of ladies. I was in hell because half my lecture I gave looking at the ground and half my lecture looking at the ceiling. I had to maintain my hijab. Here I can, I can talk to the person, I can look at him, I can stare at him. If he's sleeping, I stare at him, he stops sleeping, you know. The public speaking. But with the ladies, they are far. It is for maintaining the hijab. So that's the reason, sister, it is not at all in any way trying to belittle them. And the reason we have given you one microphone instead of two, because we feel that the proportion is approximately one third, two third. That's the reason. But the moment last time when there were more ladies, we gave equal proportion. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. Early to your Peace TV conferences for the last so many years. My question is, I'm in a situation of a two families, both are Muslim families, I know the boy, I know the girl, the families, I have been the media coordinator of those boy and girl, and they are going to get married. So can a non-Muslim be a witness of the agreeing family and the boy and girl to the nikah? Brother, asked a very good question, that he has two friends, both are Muslims, one from the girl's side, one from the boy's side. He's the mediator, he knows both of them, and he got them together. Can he be a witness to the marriage of... As they are telling me to be the witness. As they are telling me to be the witness. Can you be? You can be under one condition only. Condition is applied. If you bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, you can even be a witness to the nikah. Thank you. Hope that answers the question. Thank you.